Hello there. I've got to get from here to over there. Well, that sounds a simple enough task, doesn't it? Let's give it a go. I had to get from there to here, but along the way I had to do certain things, so I couldn't go straight. Or could I? Manufacturing processes should be straightforward, we all know that. But all too often, if you map them out, they look like my white lines, all over the place. There is a way to sort out the jumble and, at the same time, improve other parts of the process. Rover Group has been working with some of its suppliers to bring about such improvements. Kaizen Process Management is the approach that will create that change. I'm at Piano Fort, one of Rover's suppliers. Rover approached Piano Fort to see whether they'd be interested in implementing process improvement techniques. This resulted in the introduction of Kaizen. Kaizen is a Japanese word meaning change for the better. It equates to our phrase, continuous improvement. Kaizen process management is a method for improving the quality of products, reducing manufacturing lead times, and increasing productivity. It has a key role to play in the future management of Rover suppliers. As a supplier keen to improve, Piano Fort sees the introduction of Kaizen as a progression towards being a world-class organization. Piano Fort started in 1919 as a producer of piano parts. The company nowadays is a major supplier internationally to the automotive and other industries, with sites in the UK and Australia. Piano Fort has always had a strong partnership approach to customers for product development. This approach extends naturally to process development. Rover came here to the company's site at Road to assess the existing situation and see how Kaizen could be implemented. A presentation by Rover to the management of Piano Fort introduces the Rover personnel, their goals and their commitment. The relationship between Rover and Piano Fort is a crucial factor in the success of Kaizen. Teamwork and ongoing support are seen as vital to the project. Rather than appearing on site briefly and then issuing ill-informed directives about change, Rover's team has been working long-term at Rode to assist rather than direct piano fort. Change should be gradual and rather than attempt to change the whole organization in one fell swoop, one product and process is focused on initially. With this narrow but deep approach, the improvement can be progressively installed and the change is maintained. The benefits can then be applied to other processes. Other issues must be taken into consideration. For example, Kaizen will improve labor productivity and, as such, may lead to manpower reductions. But redundancy is not an option. So plans for retraining and using these people must be put in place. Too often, discussions can be detached, classroom-style talks. In this case, a hands-on approach and involvement of people on the shop floor is the preferred course. The first stage of Kaizen is to understand the process. This can only be achieved by actually producing the part and recording all the stages of the manufacturing process. This stage also involves the identification of waste or non-value-added activity. There are seven types of waste. This is the factory as it was. Some of the areas of waste are very clear just from looking. Overproduction is the worst type of waste, as it contributes to all other types of waste. Waiting occurs when people wait for machines to complete their cycles. There is a great deal of motion, unnecessary movement of people carrying out cycles of work. Products are over-processed and exceed the specification. Rework is necessary due to excessive process variability. 
Transportation around the factory is excessive. Inventory is very wasteful, as it ties up valuable floor space and capital, and requires management. With these areas identified, Rover and Piano Fort formulate their approach to improving the process. As the customer is the most important person in the process, it is necessary to commence the process at the point closest to him and work upstream, optimizing the flow of material. That's better. The basic idea behind Kaizen is that everybody works together to achieve the objective, using the necessary tools for improvement. This is the process before and after. The difference is immediately clear. Where there used to be batch production, continuous flow processing now exists. Originally, Piano Fort, as part of their manufacturing strategy, were relocating to bays 9 and 10 in this building. Kaizen has enabled them to use less than one bay to achieve the same customer requirement. The physical layout has dramatically improved, but there are many other improvements which are not immediately obvious. These measures have been improved by using the key processes of just-in-time, autonomation, flexible manpower lines, variability reduction and support systems. Continuous flow processing ensures the elimination of product stagnation in and between processes. Once a part has been put into the manufacturing process, it moves on without having to be stored. Takt is the German word for a musical meter. Takt time production determines the frequency at which one part should be made to meet the customer requirement. Tucked is the heartbeat of the manufacturing process. The pool system ensures that the right parts are conveyed to the right place at the right time and is controlled by the levelling board. Kanban is used in the levelling board and is the method of communication between processes. Kanbans can take many shapes or forms. Here, a tennis ball with a code letter on it gives an instruction to the preceding process to make replacement parts. Certain machines at Piano Fort and other Rover suppliers have changeover requirements. Where such a changeover once took hours, a process called SMED, or Single Minute Exchange of Dies, means that this time is now reduced. The effect is that production batch sizes can be reduced which will increase the ultimate flexibility of the process. Maintenance was once run to fail. It is now proactive. Operators are involved in the maintenance of equipment, apart from the more highly skilled areas. This increases reliability and strengthens the team element. Kaizen process management takes into account the need for flexible manpower lines. Should Rover's requirement change, the process at Piano Fort now has the flexibility to react in an efficient way. If an abnormality occurs with a part, the process is stopped. A status board illuminates to indicate that there is a problem. This calls the appropriate support. This performance monitoring board is the visible identification of hourly and daily production. It ensures that Piano Fort never inadvertently falls behind with production. Systems are also in place to solve problems. Should a problem occur with equipment or a product at any time, it enters the problem resolution system, which displays the status of the problem as it's being addressed. The concept of changing and increasing the role of the workforce in manufacturing processes is not new but Kaizen involves their input in a positive way. Team meetings are held regularly to allow the Piano Fort workforce to discuss issues such as daily targets, concerns and general communication. The overall effect of implementing Kaizen process management includes a major culture change for the Piano Fort workforce, many of whom have been with the company for a very long time.
This is part of the move towards continuous improvement by increasing operator involvement, training and development. Rodney Hawkins is the chief executive of Piano Fort. I asked him how Rover's approach has differed from others. Normally you'll have a team of consultants or people come in and suggest theoretical changes which are not necessarily conducive to the manufacturing environment and certainly not practical. In this case, Rover personnel have been on site for some considerable time working alongside the people, establishing the facts, so there has been a practical approach to achieve what has been achieved so far. The advantages of using one bay instead of two are obvious, but what other benefits have there been? I think the biggest advantage has been the involvement of all employees on this process who have had their opportunity to work as a team, put practical input, and this has been shown by the results that have been achieved. So would you recommend Kaizen to other suppliers? Kaizen is a well thought out process. But my personal opinion is that the biggest advantage is that it does encourage the involvement of all people, team working, and thus assists ourselves to continuously improve and achieve our objective of best in class. Kaizen has been put in place in one area of Piano Fort. Now it's running and the benefits are being seen by both the company and the customer. The results to date are a reduction of 27% in transport costs, 39% in manpower, 79% in floor area use, 90% in change over time, 94% in lead time and 95% in inventory. There has also been a significant increase in quality and productivity. The principles of Kaizen are now being applied to other areas. Ultimately, the whole site will be run along these principles. Rover wants to be the best in the world and therefore needs its suppliers also to be the best. By not only introducing suppliers to Kaizen process management, but also offering ongoing support, Rover is moving towards achieving its objective.